Welcome to Designing Spaces Think Green, a special edition of the show that's all about you, your space, your home, and your surroundings. I'm Ted Brunson. Home and surroundings, well, the environment. Today, all of us are becoming increasingly aware of how we affect the environment, the air we breathe, the water so necessary for life, the energy required to power our civilizations have all been impacted on humanity's increasing demands of what Mother Nature can give. Instead, we must look at the environment as part of our health, economy, and community, all working together in what we like to call a greener lifestyle. On today's show, we have a great lineup of topics to help you create a more eco-friendly home, a place where you and your family can live a more efficient and healthy lifestyle. So let's get started and think green. Once we know we can keep water from intruding that airtight envelope, it's time to take a look at insulation, that part of your home that contributes to controlling the inside temperature. More specifically, let's take a look at sustainable insulation and how it helps you live a more eco-friendly lifestyle. A major part of living green is your home's efficiency. How much energy does it take to provide you with a comfortable and healthy lifestyle? Think Green welcomes Rob Brockman to the show. He's the marketing manager for the Certainty Corporation, a manufacturer of home construction materials. Now he's here to show you what you cannot see in your home may have the biggest impact on your utility bills. Rob, welcome. Thanks, Bobby. On Think Green and Designing Spaces, our parent show, we often talk about making homes more energy efficient, new appliances, new heating and cooling system. But insulation is also important. How important is it to have the right levels of insulation in the home? Insulation is very important to saving energy in the house. Really what it does is it stops heat flow, and heat flow is stopped simply by little tiny air pockets that are built into the fiberglass material in that insulation. And those air pockets prevent that heat flow from going inside the house to the outside during the cold winter time and from outside into the house in the summertime when you want to keep your, your house cool. So using insulation in the home makes our homes more energy efficient. Exactly. And you're also more comfortable. You're living in a house that is warmer all over, more consistently. It's quieter. Insulation also provides a lot of acoustical benefits, and you're reducing that impact on the environment. Let's take a walk around this home and see what the homeowner has done here, and maybe you can give them some pointers or some tips on making their home a little more energy efficient. Okay, great. Here, Bobby, this is a great first step. As you can see here on this window, they've sealed up uh, what could be some expensive air leaks around the window here. And they do look like new windows with, uh, with storm windows or double panes. So that's a great first step. As you can see in the top overhang for the house and roof line, you'll notice soffits. They're cut out and uh, properly ventilating the attic, which is an important part of the, the heating and cooling system and the efficiency of the attic's performance. Rob, now that we're back in the house and we're headed towards the attic, I have a question about insulation. How does a homeowner know the proper amount of insulation to use? Well, the Department of Energy recommends a certain level of insulation for every portion of the home, including the attic, the side walls, the basement, the crawl spaces, and those are all recommended levels based on what would optimize the energy efficiency for that home or structure. Let me illustrate with an attic example. Most American homes, 80 million, are under-insulated, and they probably only have about six inches of insulation in there. That's about an R19 in terms of its insulating power. But really what the DOE is recommending now is roughly R38, R49, even R60 installed in, in homes in North America. And you, so you're talking a difference between six inches and 19 or even 20 and 22 inches. Is the insulation material itself considered a green product? Yes, in fact, Certainty manufactures all of its fiberglass insulation with the environment in mind. We've introduced a new product called Sustainable Insulation, which is made with recycled content and renewable content, including a formaldehyde-free, acrylic, and dye-free binder. Okay, so someone that's living a green lifestyle can feel confident in knowing that sustainable insulation is actually manufactured using green considerations. Absolutely. Well, Rob, we've been everywhere else around the house, and we finally made it to the attic. What can the homeowner do up here to make their home more energy efficient? Well, the attic's a great place to start. Again, it's an easy place to access, and it's the area where heat rises. And if you can 
focus on trapping that heat in and trap it from going out the top of the house, you're going to have a better result in terms of your overall energy efficiency. So what's our next step? Next step is to bring in the professionals and have them do a good job in here. Okay. In this home, we're doing a retrofit, and uh, you're adding insulation to what's already there to increase your home's energy efficiency. But the perfect time to really think about energy efficiency is when you're building a new home. Talk to your builder, talk to your contractor, make sure you get the maximum amount of insulation in your home from, from the beginning, and then you're saving energy from day one in your new house. The great news about CertainTeed's sustainable insulation is not only is it a greener, more sustainable product, but it also has great installation and handling benefits. Great for DIY and for the professionals. Rob, I must say that I learned so much more about energy efficiency today and also about your insulation products. Is there somewhere our viewers can go to learn more about CertainTeed? Yes, please visit sustainableinsulation.com and you can learn more about our sustainable manufacturing processes and the products you saw here today. Also, you can visit our website where we have a lot more information, including the link that Rob just told us about. Go to designingspaces.tv. Click on the Think Green tab. You'll find it all there. For Think Green, I'm Bobby Dodge. The new technologies are here now, and with a little extra effort, we can actually improve our lifestyles and the environment. We all want to live healthier lifestyles, both for ourselves and for the ecosystems. We also want to find ways of lowering our cost of living while maintaining an efficient household. We all have the power and the ability to make a difference. We have a choice, and it's a choice like we've never had before. Together, let's make the right decision and move towards a healthier world. For Designing Spaces, Think Green, I'm Ted Brunson. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.